Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to calculate the net present value, the BCR and the IRR for both of these projects on my Excel sheet right here. To start off, we'll ca calculate the discount factor. To do that, we will start by typing equals, then entering the formula. So when we enter in the formula here, we are separating the cost and benefits from the present value formula. And this allows us to look at the discount factor for each cost and benefit throughout the project. Divided by open parentheses, one plus, then we select the interest rate. Make sure you have the percent value uh, with the interest rate or the discount rate and you can also do it as a decimal so it would be 0 0.05 make sure to lock the cell value cell location so it doesn't move uh, so it doesn't take the next cell as you drag the final result of this of this formula To do that, you press F4, close parentheses, to the power of the year, which is the N. You press enter, you get one for the first, first one because anything to the power of zero is one. And then we drag it by selecting the box. The small, you can see the small icon here, a small green box that appears. And Using that, we drag it to the side. So in the first year, we noticed that 95 cents for every dollar generated in benefits are equivalent in present value terms. And we notice that the discount factors are decrease as we go down the years, indicating that the benefits received later on are not as valuable as the ones received earlier on. Next, to calculate the discounted cost and benefits, we take the discount factor and multiply it by the cost and the benefit for each respective year. Start by typing in equals and then we select the, the cost and multiply it by the discount factor. Press enter. Then we drag similar to what we did before. And now we have the discounted cost and benefit for each year of the project. To calculate the net present value, we add up all of the cost and benefits, the discounted cost and benefits. Press equals, then type in sum, tab. This allows us to select all of this here final row, then press equals. We have a net present value of 11,692. Then the BCR, or the benefits cost ratio, can be calculated by using the present values of, of, the, of the benefits over the cost, over the initial cost some of these values and then divided by the cost just 20,000 then we get the BCR which is 1.5 to calculate the IRR is very simple type in IRR tab so we just drag the formula to edit the formula you can press in the formula drag it like that Press enter and you get the IRR, which is 28%. That's a good internal rate of return. It indicates that most of the benefits will be received in the near future instead of the instead of later on in the project. Next to to do um, to calculate the same things for the next project type in 
the discount factor formula. Just do one. Sorry. Plus the discount rate. We use the same discount rate. And then we make sure that we lock in the cell location by pressing F4. And then we use the, the year, the respective year. To calculate the discounted cost and benefits, we take this value, the cost, multiplied by the discount factor. Press enter, then we drag formula, drag that cell. Calculate the present value, press equals, we take the sum of, uh, take the sum of the costs and benefits, close the parentheses, for the BCR, we calculated by uh, taking the sum of the benefits and then dividing it by the cost, the absolute value of cost, at 1.46. And then the internal rate of return is calculated using a a method in Excel by typing in IRR and then tab and then selecting the future values and the initial cost of the project. Close the parentheses and we receive a value of 15%. So if the project is, if the projects are independent projects, we can select both of them because uh, both of them have a, a present value that is greater than zero and zero is the status quo so we compare each project with this status quo and if they're greater than zero then we, we should um, pursue those projects however if they are mutually exclusive uh, or they're alternative projects then we need to select the one with the higher net present value we see that project one has a greater net present value of 11,692, while um, project two has a lower net present value. We, and we can also use the BCR to get a better understanding of the project. So here we see that for every dollar we spend uh, for the on the project as a cost, we, we, rece we receive $1.5 uh, dollars in return as a benefit. And the IRR, which is 28%, indicates that the benefits are accrued towards the uh, near future. So we receive the benefits earlier on. While in the second project, we see that the benefits, um, the benefits increase, the value of the benefits are greater towards the end of the project because the IRR is lower, it's 15%. But both IR uh, internal rate of return values are, are, are um, indicative of the fact that the net present value is greater than zero because they are greater than the discount rate of 5%. So that's how we calculate the net present value, the benefits cost ratio, and internal rate of return for projects and decide how to pursue those projects based on the type of projects they are. Thank you very much.